There is still confusion revolving around the topic of sanctuary cities. Although no cities in the valley have claimed that status, the city of McAllen has been getting negative feedback from people who think it helps undocumented immigrants. CBS 4's Michelle Vargas explains. Recently, McAllen Mayor Jim Darling has been receiving angry emails from people that think McAllen is a sanctuary city. For the past two years, the federal government has been releasing women and children who have been detained at the border at McAllen's bus station. They arrive in filthy clothes with no food and haven't had a safe place to stay in weeks. Catholic Charities of the Rio Grande Valley opened the shelter to feed and clothe them in McAllen. The city helps provide support and supplies. Now, some people People are claiming McAllen is a sanctuary city because it is helping the people that are being dumped at the bus station by federal government. People say, well, no, they say, are you still going, when are you going to um, uh, declare McAllen not a sanctuary city? When are you going, it was a stronger word than that. This is not the first time he has dealt with the remarks. He says he got the negative feedback from people across the country when Catholic Charities of the Rio Grande Valley opened the respite center. Sometimes when you respond to people by the way they responded to you, it just kind of you know, I'll be in some email war with somebody, so um, I mostly ignore them. Um, I did, if it's a citizen of McAllen, I tell them it's not a sanctuary city. A sanctuary city is a term used to identify an area that welcomes undocumented immigrants and refugees, where local police do not comply with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement detention requests. Darling says McAllen is a humanitarian city. To the extent we provide sanctuary for people who are legally here, who couldn't, who have had a ter you know, terrible journey through Mexico to get here and have been apprehended, or they give themselves in to actually, and have been processed to leave without the fundamentals that the Border Patrol and the CBP is supposed to provide, which is a clean clothes, a little bit of medical checkup, a meal. McAllen Police Chief Victor Rodriguez says the negative rhetoric is uncalled for. In every major Texas city, in every major city in this country, there are far more undocumented persons in those communities than you would find in the entire border of Texas. So it's unfair to make this uh, immigration issue sanctuary city uh, and make it appear as if it is a border a border problem. It is not. Rodriguez says his department works very closely with federal agents. If in the course of our, us doing our work, in the course of making contact with a person, pursuant to any matter that's brought to our attention, you know, uh, we determine secondarily that that person may be wanted by state or federal agencies anywhere, then we will turn them over accordingly. And I believe that's the way most agencies up and down this border area work. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has promised to outlaw sanctuary cities, and state lawmakers have introduced a bill that could make it a crime to create a sanctuary city. Even Secretary Kelly said he didn't know what a sanctuary city is. So, but all I know is I can go to jail if I have one, <laughs> and I got to rely on the police department, and, and you know, they have to do their job. I mean, when you pull over somebody for the ticket, is it an immigration check at the same time? And isn't, isn't that, doesn't that, um, um, violate the non-profiling requirements of the state. We spend a lot of money doing profiling information to make sure we're not profiling it, and yet now somebody else in the state saying, well, you better do some profiling. In McAllen, Michelle Vargas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.